Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to fulfill orders on Shopify with CJ Dropshipping. CJ Dropshipping is a platform that allows users to not only add products onto their Shopify store, but also fulfill orders and track the orders. And you can get started for completely free. In this tutorial, I'll be going over how to add products onto your Shopify store using CJ Dropshipping, and also how to process orders using CJ Dropshipping. So the first thing you will need to do is go onto your Shopify admin page. Once on the admin page, you're going to go over to the left-hand menu option and you're going to tap on Add Apps. After selecting Add Apps, you're going to scroll down and you're going to select Shopify App Store. Once on the Shopify App Store, what I want you to do is tap on the search bar and you're going to type in CJ Dropshipping. Then you're going to select it. After selecting CJ Dropshipping, I want you to install the app. Once you have installed the app and you have created an account, you will be redirected to a dashboard similar to this. And from here, all you'll need to do now as you can see for this example, I will be adding bracelets for men. So you are going to simply type in the product that you would like to add to your Shopify store or the product that you would like to ship. For example, I've typed in bracelets for men. After you have done that, you can select the filter options. So for example, if you would like it to ship from warehouse in the United States, you could select that. Or if you don't have a specific warehouse in mind, you can leave it at all warehouses. But you can see that CGA Dropshipping offers you numerous warehouses that you can choose from. For example, if I were to select US Warehouse right here, so let me tap on US Warehouse, you would realize that my search options change. But with a US Warehouse, you'll realize that the shipping time will cut down drastically. So let's say, for example, I were to select one of these bracelets right here. Let's say this one. All you would need to do is simply tap on the product image. Once you have tapped on the product image, it will open up a new page. Once on the new page, all you'll need to do is scroll down. And if after reading about the information or the product better yet, and you can see the estimated process time and delivery time, as you can see right there, if everything is to your liking, you're going to tap on list. So let's tap on list real quick. Once you have tapped on list, you will be redirected to this page. And on this page, all you'll need to do now, you're going to scroll down. And before doing that, you can see ship from and you can see the warehouse right here. At the moment, the warehouse is set at China warehouse. You could tap right there and you could select US warehouse. So you will need to change it right here before you add the product. So you can see right there. Then you are going to add the product type. So we are going to tap on add new and we'll simply type in Joel. So let's do that real quick. Then tap on confirm. After you have done that, you are going to add the vendor. If you don't have a vendor already, you can tap on add new and you could add the vendor right there. Then you'll tap on confirm. After you have done that, you are going to scroll down. And then from here, you can see the recommended price. At the moment, the recommended price will be $7.47. And with that, you'll see the amount of profit that you'll be able to make. And you can see a breakdown of the price and the shipping costs and everything. So you can enter the price that you would like to sell it for right here. At the moment, my currency is in JMD, so I'm going to enter it in JMD. So let's say, for example, 1,300, and I'll tap on OK. After you have done that, you're going to tap on List It Now. So let's do that. Once you have tapped on List It Now, you're going to give it a few seconds until the product is added to your store. Then you can see listing in is, listing is in progress, as you can see right here. And from there, you can tap on the X to close out. So let's do that. The top, and it is going to change how the dashboard looks. 
and it is going to carry you to your main dashboard. Once on the main dashboard, what I want you to do next, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option. And by the way, if you were to go back into your Shopify store, so let's say we were to go back and you were to tap on products, you are going to see the product that you have added. As you can see right here, the product has now been added. Now, once someone goes onto your Shopify store, makes a purchase, all you'll need to do now, you are going to go back onto this dashboard right here. Once on this dashboard, what I want you to do, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option. You are going to tap on orders. After tapping on orders, you are going to tap on imported orders. So you'll tap on that. Then once you have tapped on that, you are going to be redirected to a new page. And on this new page, you are going to see all of the orders that have been created. And you can track the orders by specific date. As you can tap right where you see the calendar right here. And from there, you can search for the orders based on date. After you have done that, you are going to select the shipping method. So you are going to tap on select a shipping method. And you can select the shipping method that you would like to use. So you can select any shipping method that you would like to use. And after doing that, you are going to scroll down and you would select the particular product. After selecting the product, you will follow through with the payment methods. So for example, let's say I were to add a product manually. I can do that by scrolling down right here. You could select create manual orders. After tapping on create manual orders, let's say for example, this product right here that I have added. So I'll tap on it, then I'll tap on add. Once I've tapped on add, I will be redirected to this page. Let me do that real quick. You can see it right there. Then I'll tap on next. And from here, all you'll need to do now, you're going to fill in your order number and you can fill in the customer address right here, city, province, and also their phone number. And again, from here, the shipping method that you had selected earlier will be valid right here. After you have done all of that, all you'll need to do now, you're going to tap on confirm. And as you can see right here, the price is $1.26. As remember that the price that you put in earlier included the profit. So this is the profit, the price that you're going to pay. So you can see here $1.26. And all you'll need to do is tap on confirm and that's it. After you have done that, you could go over to the left hand menu option once more. And from there, you'll be able to track orders by tapping on orders tracking. So you'll be able to track orders from this page. And I've also done tutorials on how to create an order tracking page on your Shopify store. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.